Our next speaker, I'll pass the microphone to him, is uh, Mr. Lowe, who is coming from Taipei City Council. And uh, so we're going to get a slightly different perspective, maybe, than what we've heard from the academics so far. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm quite nervous right now because I rarely uh, discuss serious issues in English. So I prepared my paper. So right now I must become a famous famous machine in Taiwan. It's called Du Gao Ji. I don't know how to translate it. Du Gao Ji is what? So I must uh, depend on my paper. Uh, unlike other panelists, I don't have a strong academic background and I'm not an expert on cross trade relation. But as former Deputy Secretary General of the Presidential Office and a member of President Ma Inchio in a circle, I was personally involved in the mainland policy decision-making process and the ensuing discussion. I will try my best to share some light on the complicated, confusing, and sometimes contradicting close trade relation at the 2020 presidential election in Taiwan. Before touching upon the subject matter, I would like to share with my observation on the result of the January 11 presidential election. President Tsai Ing-wen's overwhelming support is not DPP's victory, but KMT's failure. After the unexpected landslide victory in the 2018 local election, the KMT was immersed in a state of unreasonable uh, self-satisfied uh, in 2019. Uh, believing that regaining political power was imminent, party leader make a series of political misjudgment and mistakes. And the Han Guoyu decision to run for president within five months into his potential as mayor of Kaohsiung also cast a doubt over his political image and uh, capability. Of course, Hong Kong's anti extradition protest, which regained Chai hope from, for a second term by planting seed of hatred and the fear of Chinese communists in the mind of Taiwan's voters was the last nail in the coffin of Han's campaign and the KMT overall endeavor to return to power. Also, let DPP successfully paint Han and the KMT as poor China, anti-America, and uh, Washington's tacit endorsement also attribute to KMT defeat. What I'd like to emphasize is cross trade relation was certainly one of the key factors, but not the only one. That decided the result of the election and the Taiwan's future for at least the, the next four years. The result of the election uh, Having said all that, I still strongly believe that KMT's policy line on mainland China, named the 92 Consensus, has not totally lost its ground and uh, is deserted by voters. Therefore, the KMT rather than retreating should uphold one China with respective interpretation principle and uh, be more aggressive in redefining, adjusting, and strengthening its policy line to regain its power of discourse 
and the authority on the on this essential issue. In the past four years, the relationship between Taiwan's trade can be described as peaceful but chilling at best, which all official communication and dialogue serve. There has been growing suspicion and hostility against each other since Tsai Ing-wen refused to recognize 92 consensus, where Xi Jinping, under his grand design of Chinese dream, is more assertive on his intention to eventually unify Taiwan. The huge difference of value system, ways of life, and the ideas of democracy and freedom has become an immovable political upscale for any kind of improvement of the relationship. On the other hand, the close economic tie and the interdependence between Taiwan and mainland China require both parties to be pragmatic and maintain the and the vulnerable status quo. Looking into future, this stalemate of the relationship may continue, if not deteriorated, since there is no sign that either side intended to soften its position or back down from its belligerent posture. In her victory speech, Tsai declared peace, parity, freedom, and dialogue as the four fundamental principles in handling relations with Beijing and uh, she also definitely wanted Beijing not to take military action which she said would be very costly. <coughs> Beijing's comment after the election that is opposed to the test conspiracy in Taiwan in indicate the party parity or each side acknowledgement of the other extents and the democracy. Taiwan's people's right to determine their future have hard limit in Beijing understanding of Taiwan dialogue to suffer from a lack of open official panel channel since the downturn in relations after Chai's first election. It is obvious that without any common ground, the ghost trade relations are moving into uncharted water in the foreseeable future, and the both sides will need to proceed with care. Beijing must accept the result of Taiwan's democratic election that vote did not prefer a closer relationship with mainland this time. Likewise, Taipei will deal with its own reality that the elements of peace, parity, democracy, and the dialogue that Chai discussed in her victory speech required a level of cooperation that Beijing is not necessarily interested in providing at this time. With or with not mutually accept consensus and ideas, I personally believe that peace, stability, and the prosperity close the Taiwan's trade are beneficial to both sides and provide a window of opportunity to improve their relation. Let's put different ideology aside and focus on urgent and necessary things on hand. We establish official channel of communication as soon as possible. Yeah, so <laughs> my time is up. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have another speech in to, uh, no, tomorrow in Chinese, so maybe if you have a question, you can ask me tomorrow. Thank you.